Yo, what is up, loud and proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm actually in Ohio with my grandparents. I'm trying to keep it down because I don't want them to hear me. But I've been telling you guys back and forth how I've uh, want, I've been wanting to buy them a new truck. Um, not a brand new truck, but just a new truck that's in you know better running and operating condition than his because it's getting pretty wore down, having issues left and right. Um, it's just time to retire it, I think. He's got a 98 Dodge Dakota with a 318 in it. But um, engine runs fine, but in terms of transmission, some he's having some major brake issues. Just failed on it the other day on his way to work. And uh, just one thing after another, just giving him all kinds of problems. So found a couple trucks, they're Ram 1500s. We're gonna go look at them, I don't know if it's what he's really gonna want or not. But he doesn't know I'm gonna try to buy him a vehicle. So we're gonna go look at them, some really clean ones. And then uh, if they are what they look like, hopefully they are really clean and uh, Maybe he'll fall in love with one, if I can tell, which is pretty easy to tell if he likes something or not, he, he'll be pretty honest. If he does like it and he really wants it, I can tell, just be like, it's yours, man, and just get him a truck. Let me show you around his Dodge Dakota really quick so you guys can see it's time for a new truck. been a good truck for him but it's time for a new one I think so let's go take a look well we're in the old 73 with my grandfather hello good morning and uh, I know you guys crack on me for driving the Ford whenever I go on a long trip but I like cruise control it's nice Is cruise control a good thing oh yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go look at a truck here. What happened to your truck? You say it's something about the brakes? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Transformation slips. Now the baluster, I think, and the brakes are bad. Yeah. It needs lined up. Let's see, what else? Windshield's cracked. We're just driving around. We're just looking at trucks today. Well, pit stop number two, what'd you think? A couple, he's got a... You really like that red one. I saw that out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, man, that's a sharp truck. And then I saw the green one pretty clean and then likes the Chevy so but we're gonna keep on keep on driving along here and see if we can't find another one we're gonna keep on driving down the road here it says we're I would say the Chevy on the long haul would probably have the better transmission yeah I would say so too so we're gonna keep on going here and see what we can find fourth gen right here pretty sharp truck so we're gonna get on down the road here and see if we can't find another truck okay so we got a Ram 1500 here. I, I knew exactly what truck we were coming to look for. I just stopped at other lots along the way to throw them off a little bit, but we're gonna look at this truck and it's got a little little bit of rust on the door and rocker on the one side, but the frame is cherry. Um, let's get the 5.9 gas engine in it, which is gonna be fine for him. You know, he doesn't do a ton of driving, but four wheel drive and everything, he loves step bars and paint's pretty good. So we're gonna take a look at this truck and hopefully he really likes it. What are you thinking? Looks pretty good. It's pretty good? It's pretty good. Pretty good looking truck. Frames Pretty darn clean underbody and cab mounts. That was a pretty clean truck. What do you think of so far? Sounds good. I think he likes it. think about that truck I just did the test driving but inside and out look pretty good for what you're getting for the money it's probably a pretty decent truck we're gonna go talk to these guys in here well we bought my grandpa truck looky there beautiful second gen Dodge you cannot replace the reaction I got in there when we were sitting down to do paperwork he's like um he's like Derek how do you want to pay for this he starts looking around I said I'll buy it for you I told him that I said man I will do anything for you man and he was tearing up man and I don't want to tear up now, but you just can't replace that kind of a thing. I mean, that's just... I'd do anything for that man. Well, my grandfather just got back to work. Awesome, awesome experience. Couldn't be happier. He doesn't get off till like 7, so I'm going to stay another day here in Ohio, get to hang out with him tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow surprise him with something else on his truck. And there it is. 
He likes the pinstriping. It's the 5.9. Texas truck. That's what. That's why the paint and rust is almost non-existent. The exhaust is rusty, but that's about it. I just locked it up, but the interior is perfect. Perfect. It was pretty emotional. It was a pretty emotional experience, and you could just tell it just. It went straight to the heart, you know what I mean? Like it was just kind of like a very heartwarming thing for me too, um, but definitely for him because he's like, I haven't really, you know, I haven't really had much handed to me ever in my life. And so, you know, as a kid, he hardly had much of anything at all. Very, very, very poor family. For something like this to happen to him is just like, to him is just, he didn't know what to think about it. You know what I mean? It doesn't happen too often. You know what I mean? So especially his generation, they really, really value something like that. He really does value it. He said it's a memory that's gonna last him a very, very, very long time. Well, everybody can finally see the truck here with my grandfather. How's the truck? They, Good they're probably gonna wanna know. Good morning, <laughs> Dodge people in America. Some in Canada. Big, some in Canada. Some in Canada. Some in Canada. Some in Canada. Right there. Check it out a little bit. We didn't have a chance to do that. But it looks good. Body's good. The frame's good. Frame's really good. And I got a good grandson. We're probably gonna run it down the road and check it out. People love you. <laughs> People love me. <laughs> they do. That's what I hear. That's what they say. Yeah, let's start up and see how she sounds. <laughs> Gotta test this four wheel drive out. Hmm. Locked in? Is that it? We'll find out. Looky there. That was it, because it was spinning there. I'm gonna try a little bit of a hill here. It's steeper than it looks. <laughs> and this has the, uh, Mopar 360 engine in it. All right. <laughs> Get me to town a lot faster. <laughs> now you watch that heavy foot there. <laughs> That's pretty good. And the, speedo there. the speedometer works in this one so you can know how fast you're driving <laughs> when you yeah. put your foot down. <laughs> All of different things that didn't work before. <laughs> You gotta get used to. You gotta yeah. learn how to run my radio. Yeah, that's got plenty of plenty of power. Get up and go. Right. You better make up your mind, dear. <laughs> you better make up your mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, George. And now I got heat in this winter and cool in the summer. Yeah, I was gonna say. A lot of people ask if the heat and AC works in this, and the heat works awesome. Like the temperature control is awesome. Like right now we have it set at probably, I want to say, 72. And it's just perfect. It's perfectly warm at 72. And when we had it cold, it was perfectly cold when we got in. Started right up. It's got all kinds of little fancy hidden things like fold out cup holders because most of these trucks have horrible cup holders. I mean, 212 volt outlets. Got a little compartment there. Your little holders up top. Junkyard here for farm equipment. Maybe it's uh, an economy. <laughs> With a 360 Mopar engine, I'm I doubt it. <laughs> I thought it would move. At least coming back. At least like an eighth newer. of a tank. <laughs> yeah, it's still above the full mark. Yeah, and we, um. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. yeah and, and we came from, uh. Newark. Yeah, from uh -huh. Newark, and then you went to work, straight to work and back. That'd be an hour's drive. Yeah. If we came straight through. Yeah. At the end of the day, how was the whole situation? Great. Best day of my life. Maybe <laughs> right at the top. In there. the top, top, top few. Yeah. So, um, drives good. Runs good. Runs good. Drives good. Looks good. Looks good. Kind of like the grandpa. Kind of like the grandfather. You should have seen the Facebook comments people were giving him. Larry, you look so, you look good in that picture there. <laughs> Very glad to be able to do this for you. Oh, I've been wanting really... to do it for a long time. 
This is something amazing to me. Have a kid grow up, he's been bad all his life, and now he's a good boy. Just kidding. He's a good boy all, all I've ever known. Him. Need more of him like him. That'll yeah. be ten dollars. Anyways, I love you. I told you I'd do anything for you the well, other day. I've, that's amazing what you've done for me. I'd do anything for you. Enjoy the truck. Gonna have it for a long time. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm doing a sale right now. Every order placed today, 9-11 to the 9-15, um, later this week, every order gets cash in their order. It doesn't matter what you order, any of the amount, you could win. Dollar, five, 10, 20, 50, doesn't matter. Every order is gonna get cash. Definitely go place your orders when stuff sells out. The sale ends, so go down in the link in the description. And yes, every $15 still enters you to win a diesel truck. Thank you guys so much. Order some merch. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.